Thank you, Melbra. I'm Sister Rosemary Flanagan, and this is my co-chair, Dr. Andy Chatburn, and our responsibility and delight is to welcome each and every one of you here tonight. When I was thinking about the 30th anniversary of the Center for Practical Bioethics, I thought 30 years. In the scope of history, 30 years is less than a blink until two weeks ago, when in 30 seconds, an evil was done in South Kansas City that left irremediable marks on so many. And I thought, that puts our 30 years of doing good into perspective for me. When I think what the center has done, its staff, so many of you people here and throughout Kansas City and throughout the U.S. of A. to do three tremendous things among many others. We have enhanced the respect for a patient's autonomy. We have deepened the love for beneficence, which is the very soul of medicine. And please God, we've done something to encourage the practice of justice in healthcare delivery. Margaret Mead could have been talking about the center when she said, always, always, never fail to doubt that the world can be changed by a small group of people because that's the only way it will be changed. Andy. Stay up here. We are so grateful to all of you who are here tonight and express special thanks to our major sponsors, St. Luke's Health System, Children's Mercy Hospitals and Clinics, HCA Midwest Division, North Kansas City Hospital, and the University of Kansas Hospital. Please help us by showing our appreciation. Because of the generosity of all of our sponsors, as well as each of you in attendance, we are delighted to announce that we have raised more than $350,000 to advance the work of the center. At each of your places, you found our 30th anniversary booklet with information in the back pocket about tonight's event, as well as the beginning of the center's stories project. You have samples of the three many stories that we have begun to collect and there'll be more about that later. For the last several years, the center has had a drawing for a lovely piece of jewelry. This year, for the fourth time, nationally acclaimed artist Robin Nichols has pieces, who has pieces at the Nelson Atkins Museum as well as the Smithsonian, has created our lovely prize valued at $3,200. It was designed in honor of the 30th anniversary with three pearls, one representing each decade. I've been alive for 30 years. The center has been doing ethics as long as I have been alive, and I am so blessed. It was designed in honor of the 30th anniversary with these three pearls. So pull out your tickets as we announce the winner. Everybody have their tickets? Yes. All right. So because of the special design, we opened the raffle to a broader audience this year. And so it's possible for the winner to not be in the room tonight. Um, so it is possible that that may not be the case. Go ahead. And drum roll. Ta-da. All right. We have number. Check the name because there's no name on the back. There is not a name on the back. 
Number 0667717. All right. If the if the winner is present, I'd ask you to meet Sandy and Robin um, in the rear of the ballroom. If the winner is not present, then we will be able to, oh, the winner is present, wonderful. Congratulations. And now, veterans of this dinner know that there are envelopes at each of your tables for your convenience. Many of you have sacrificially given to be with us tonight, but others may be guests of their organization or of a friend who's sponsoring a table. We hope that you consider showing your support for the center's good work by making a contribution tonight. Now, please turn your attention to the silver screens. <laughs> 